This is a Chavarilla cloud. I brought this beautiful plant inside last Monday for a cleanup. So that's what we're going to do today. And while I'm doing this, I have a story to tell. I uploaded a video yesterday called Frenemy and Miserable Monday. I would like to apologize for those who commented regarding Pedro on how happy you are that he's getting better. I did not want to upset you by letting you know that he passed away because I want you to hear his story first. When I filmed that video, of vlog number 243, I tried very hard to be chirpy because I planned to go out that day and run some very difficult errands that I've been dragging my feet to do for the past couple of weeks. This is to transfer some documents to my name. Pedro wasn't feeling well that morning again because the previous days, Saturday and Sunday, he was chirpy again. <laughs> I say again because this has been going on with him for the past few weeks. Happy one day, sad the next. But last Monday, knowing that I need to go out and not be emotional, I've been doing a lot of emoing lately, I have to try very hard to cheer myself up. Two months and a half since Wall Pass, it should get easier. But I still find it hard to go out in public. The only people I've become expert in hiding or holding in my emotions are mom and dad, Wal's parents or my husband's parents. Because I need to regularly visit them. I guess Pedro was a really smart bird because there's no fooling him. When I came down to have breakfast last Monday, he was depressed again. So I decided to stay home and put him around my schnood to comfort him. I sat with him around my neck for half an hour before Nature cold, not what you think. It's uh, because I was hungry, so I'm about to have breakfast. When I was eating my croissant, he jumped out of the schnood and started attacking my croissant. One minute he's dying, the next minute he's eating croissant. Oh, now he's flying. Hey, baby pee. All I did was just sing to him. Hey, <laughs> come on. When I turned the camera on, he flew away, and that's usual. He hates the camera and went to his room and played with his bells. So I thought, silly bird, he's happy again. So that's when I filmed that video last Monday. When I left, or when I was about to leave, he was sleeping again. So I said goodbye to him and told him that I won't be long. I'll be back in a couple of hours. On the drive to where I'm going, I cried all the way because there are so many reminders of wall where we fish by the lake in summer, the little bit of blue in the sky because it was a cloudy day and every time it's a cloudy day and when if, if we're fishing or prospecting, he would always say, oh, there's still a bit of blue over there, so the sun's still going to shine. The buildings that we work on along the way where we have hot dogs and chips every Friday when I used to buy succulents, he used to come with me. So many reminders of the happy times that I will miss. That's the reason why I was crying in the car. When I got to my destination, I sat in the car for a while to wipe away the tears, of course. Thank goodness for glasses, it hides my puffy eyes. When I got out of the car and stepped into the building, I thanked the Lord that it was packed because that automatically stopped me from being emotional again. But that also meant it's going to take me longer to get back home to Pedro. I was there for three hours. I hurried home, but when I got home, Pedro was dead at the bottom of his cage. He had his little eyes open as if he was looking out to see where I am, waiting for me to come back. His claws were clenched like he was sitting on his perch looking out. I guess he probably died of a heart attack. Before I go on, I would like to go back to a little bit of Pedro history. This uh, bird depression, I call it, it happened to Pedro when he was only eight months old. We went away prospecting and naturally at that time, he wasn't our bird, but my daughter's. So he went back to his mummy. After a month of not seeing us, my daughter told me on the phone that Pedro stopped eating for a couple of days and just slept. He even bit her husband's finger when he tried to force him to get out of the cage. They tried to put him in the aviary. My son-in-law actually breeds uh, birds and he sells them. So that's where Pedro was hatched, in that aviary. So they put him there for a couple of hours. 
But just a quick side story before Pedro, my daughter and her husband at the time, still boyfriend, they split up. My daughter came back home to Canberra, that's where we are, from Sydney, and she got a job here in Canberra. Then they got back together again. Then she was commuting on the weekend to Sydney and Monday morning back to Canberra. And one of those Monday mornings, she showed up with a shoebox and inside were these two week old Pedro. That's how we came to look after Pedro. I work from home and so Pedro stayed with me during the day. At about 3.30 is when my husband Pedro. gets home. So when he gets home, Pedro would spend the rest of the day and night with him. And that's how he bonded more with us than my daughter. You want to go back in your cage? But of course, on the weekend, he would cage? go back to Sydney with his mum, my daughter. Monday, back to grandma and grandpa, which is my husband and I. So, back to the aviary story. They kept him there for two hours and have to take him out. Poor Pedro apparently was huddled in the corner of the aviary, shaking. He was petrified. So they decided to put him back in his cage and put a little female budgie with him. But first they had the female budgie in a separate cage next to Pedro and slowly introduced her to Pedro. A week later, they had to take the female out because Pedro was stuck in the corner of his cage again and did not want to engage with this female budgie. And then they got Rambo. Uh, he's an electric parrot, and his cage was next to Pedro's. It's a wonder and Pedro's not Rambo happy, just Pedro screams happy. all the time. So it's <laughs> understandable for Pedro to get he's depressed. He's noisy, isn't he, Pedro? After I spoke to my daughter on the phone, I said, let me talk to Pedro. I whistled to him and told him to hang on. Told him that Grandma won't be long. I'll see him soon and give him lots of kisses. Since we were in a remote area and no phone service, we have to come into town every week to talk to Pedro. After each talk, my daughter said that he started eating again. So we did this, talking to him on the phone for the next five months. When we finally did see him, I made a video when we pick him up from Sydney. I'll put a link down below in the description box or click the eye on the upper left hand side of this video on how Pedro reacted when we got him out of my daughter's house and into our car and of course till we got him home. This video shows clearly that Budgie, specifically Pedro, has a good memory or he's got a good brain and he's probably smarter than a lot of humans considering the size of his brain. So upon the death of my husband, I now understood that birds do grieve and also with too many changes to his routine, the house decor, that also added to his grief. Because all of a sudden, everything he's known has changed and gone. Daddy's bed, his recliner chair was on a different spot, and the only thing that's constant was me. The first couple of weeks after Wall passed, Pedro was so happy with having me around because five months prior to Wall's passing, Pedro hardly seen me as well because I spent most of my time at the hospital with my husband. When I come home at say 9 or 12 o'clock, sometimes 2 in the morning, I would spend time with Pedro and he formed a routine of sleeping during the day and keeping awake at night waiting for me. So with all these changes in his life for the past seven months, I guess his poor heart couldn't take it anymore. So last Monday, the 8th of July, is when my baby P has gone to join daddy. Mondays are miserable because that's the day of the week that the true love of my life has gone. But Mondays are also the most wonderful day of the week because that's the day Pedro came into my life. It was also Monday when Wal moved in with me. I'm crying now because it, these are merely tears of longing and missing their company. But I consider myself lucky than most people, I guess, because I have these videos that capture their essence, their existence. 
as magnificent as our brains can be, or my brain, that is. I know in time, I might forget what Wall and Pedro look like. Their smiles and happy faces, the sound of their voice, the conversations we had, even with Pedro. I will also forget what it's like to argue with them. Yeah, you want to go to sleep? Go to bed, Pedro. Come on, you stay. You go to bed, Pedro. You stay. Hey, you go to bed. You gonna go to bed, Pedro. Hey. Come on, you wanna go to bed? Come on. You go to bed now. Hey. You gonna go to bed? Hey, you wanna go to bed? Look, mommy's hands. Go to bed. Come on, baby P. Come on, come on, come on. Go to bed. <laughs> go to sleep. Okay, come on. Close now. Because <laughs> daddy's here, that's why isn't it? you're spoiled. Come on, jump. Jump. Come on. Good boy. Good night. See you in the morning. But through these videos, they will comfort me. I can talk to them even though they don't talk back. <laughs> it will make me smile. That special smile only they can draw out of my face. And when I'm down, I will close my eyes. Take a deep breath and remember, because for me, they're not really gone. Then they can live in my heart and in my memory until the day that I will join them. Goodbye for now, Wal and Pedro, until we meet again. Finally, this Echeveria cloud is almost finished. Just that last bit there. And so now... I don't think I got any more dry leaves. So it's finito. Look how nice and clean that is. Look at all these dry leaves that are hiding from underneath that, from inside the plant. So we'll just put this away. And then, so now, I would like to thank you guys for watching. I hope I didn't make you too sad. And I hope you enjoyed this cleaning as well. And also you enjoyed Pedro's story. Sad as it may be, this is the reality. I have to accept that life has to go on for me without my husband and that lovely little ball of fluff. Thank you again for watching and hope I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Mm -hmm.